It's easy to create panoramic photos with Photoshop once you have a series of aligned images. In this example, you can go ahead and go to the link in the description to download these support files from a snowboarding trip over in uh, Winter Park, Colorado a couple years ago. And what you can do is if you overlap your shots uh, by about you know 20% or so, you can open them all up uh, in Photoshop and stitch them together automatically. So go ahead and open up all the support files. Go to File, Automate, Photo Merge. And if you didn't have anything open, you could go to Browse and select them all. But since we have them all open, go ahead and just go to Add Open Files. And make sure Blend Images Together is checked. Uh, we probably don't need Vignette removal on this example, but you can experiment with the different ways uh, they blend them together with these different ones. I'm going to just keep auto selected and go ahead and press OK. And what that's going to do is open up all these images and figure out uh, where they can be stitched together and where certain ones should be masked out and put them on separate layers. I'm just going to go over a couple tips really quick while it does that. Uh, when you're shooting this, make sure you have a tripod or some way to keep the camera still. Uh, set it to manual focus because you don't want it focusing far away then close in the foreground, middle ground, background in between shots because then your final image will look kind of strange with certain areas uh, focused at different spots. Also you do want to shoot them relatively quickly because you don't want the same bird or same cloud kind of showing up twice uh, in the same in, in two different images so you don't want to just kind of follow a bird along the sky then it would show up a couple times um, so you know if the clouds are moving especially pretty quickly shoot you know take your shots relatively quickly um, and again keep your white balance your aperture shutter speed settings all on manual because if you set it to uh, you know some kind of preset settings or it's doing the aperture for you or the shutter speed for you on shutter priority or aperture priority um, you might come up with different settings, different exposures, different depths of fields between the shots so you want to shoot in manual mode uh, have your white balance set manually and uh, again your focus even have that set manually All right. so there we go we have a bunch of different uh, shots stitched together like so and you can see over here, if you hold Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, you can click on these masks and see where, um, where the masks are individually. All right. And you can also uh, Alt or Option click a certain layer just to see that layer. And you can see where they took certain shots and masked out the rest, rest just using mass. All right. And the final step, of course, would just be to... Uh, crop out because you're going to get that edge with certain shots. Another thing to do also is to put your uh, digital SLR camera or film SLR camera and if you want to scan it in later but uh, you want to shoot sideways actually um, at a 90 degree angle there on, on the right or left hand side on your tripod because then you get more uh, the top area, the bottom area, and you can overlap it at about 20% between shots. Uh, that way you get a wider image up and down because sideways, I mean, you can shoot a bunch of shots, you know, 10, 20 shots to get that uh, panoramic shot in Photoshop later. Thanks.